Right boys, let's, let's go and see what we've got on today. I know I've got that old trailer to finish. I've got to uh, fit the handbrake and the handbrake cable and do a few more jobs like spray suppression and all that lot. How's that on? Oh, is that my box? Yeah, it fucking is my box. I fucking knew it was. I'm sure I have little people come at night and just open my drawers and my box, you know. You know, I have little shoemakers, but not shoemakers, like box openers. Little box openers come out. Right, boys, let's see what today brings, eh? Let's do it.com. Placing this handbrake cable. Right boys, when you fit to these cables, don't cut it until you've got it all attached, so you know what, how long it is. If you cut it before, you are going to cut it too short, aren't you? So your ratchet's there, look. So you go on the lower one here. <laughs> Loop it right the first axle. Back on itself to the top roller. And there's where you're going to loop it round and then put your clamps on. Right, put your clamps on first, obviously. At least put three on it. Give it plenty of length, look, so you've got plenty of length for your clamps to go round. Right, I'll just get my socket, I'm going to tighten the end one here, one at the end, and then I'm going to ratchet it up and then tighten the other two so it's taut then. Right, I've left a bit of length lock sticking around so it can twizzle around before it gets tight, because if not, if you do it real short, when you undo it, when it's on tension and you undo it, this, this ratchet coils back and then it pulls the cable out because it's got nowhere to go, it's got no slack on it. Right, see that hole there, look? There's an Allen key under there. Look, the Allen key's taut up now, so I'm just going to undo the Allen key, and then we can put the cable through. So you need to get it smooth with the end there, so your cable can wrap around the innards of it. Right, then we're just going to take the slack out of it. Well, that slacks out of it now. Now we're going to tighten the rest of these clamps up. Right, there she flies, look. Three clamps on, nice and tight. Now I'm just going to tighten her up on the ratchet, give her maximum pressure, and see if she holds. Oh, she will hold, won't she? Well, that's as much as I can do it by hand. I'm going to put the red airline on now, build it up with air, drop it, and then show you that I can get more clicks on it when the air pressure's out of the brake. Look, look at that lot. And I was at full pressure then. Now that's at full pressure. See, and that's what you got to do at test. Because if not, well, you've seen how much slack I've just taken out of that cable when I put the brakes on like that, compared to just doing it by hand, obviously. But now that I'll show you how much pressure's on the cable. You know, when you take your brakes off with a red line, there's some pressure on that cable. You take that back and it'll go, boom, spin around. Ow. Told you some pressure, didn't I? There we go. Did you see that shoot around? It went all over, boom, spun around like hell. With these old ones, I've been out to no end where this cable gets jammed in the gears and in the cogs here. And it's only because people don't keep an eye on this cable when they're putting the handbrake on. 
sometimes it gets jammed in here and all that lot and then they jam it all up keep on ratcheting it and then the brakes are on and they can't release the handbrake that'll do sir i'll do right there's a spray flop that's not covering the tire tread lot so that needs a bit of an extension going on it That makes it look a lot smarter, that little rounded corner does, doesn't it? Like it's a professional little corner. Like it was made to go there. That's covering it lovely now, isn't it? Right, Pete's just bought this new Makita, look, look. Oh, it's a battery operated Makita. Pete's on Makita and all, ain't you, Pete? I am, mate. And he's also rocking the professional struggler okay. merch, obviously. <laughs> eh? So he's spoiled himself to this new Makita, what I'm really jealous about. So he's going to have a trial run with it. What's some stage? What's number one, number two for? It's a different it? flows of grease. Oh, yeah. Fast flow, low flow, I believe. I watched a video on it, but I'll have a look again on the instructions. Do they need instructions? I've had no wash one before, but I've never seen the Makita one. So it'll be quite interesting, Pete, to see how it rivals the Milwaukee one. Here you go, Con. Come and go get one from the back. Well, I've got the car to here, Pete, so let's try it. Amateurs at this, aren't we? Strugglers. <laughs> 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 There we go. Just cracked off that nipple there, like it's got a bit of grease coming out of the little hole. Oh, I'm flicking through. There we go. Oh, that's fast, isn't it? Yeah, I think this. What's that on number two? That's on number one. This. Oh, Pete. It's got power to it, isn't it? What's that, number one now? That's number one now, yeah. Right, oh, try number one. It's exactly the same number two, but now I want number one and number two. It's supposed to do with the flow rate. Um, I watched the video on it. Oh, is it? Right, now I've got that trainer to grease, Pete. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, you're going to try it. You try it, Pete. Yeah. Okay. You do it, Pete. I don't want to, I don't want to break you because you've got to move Oh, she's coming out, she's beautiful. Oh, that'll do, yeah, I don't want too much in them cams. We don't want it to spew out on their braking system. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Out of the top, oh, Archie, you'd like this, lad. <laughs> you'd like this, mate. Christmas list. Hey, I'll do one. Oh, this is good, Arch. Makita and all, we like Makita. <laughs> yeah, boys, look at all these balance speeds, Bobby. Can't be a bit of grease on the balance beam. It's a lot of weight wise, Peter. Yeah, it's better as a backpack. <laughs> it's quite heavy, isn't it? It is heavy. Is it a bit more lighter? Yeah. It's not more lighter than that. That's, that's, that's heavy, that is. As Pete says, you need a backpack. Is <laughs> <laughs> it, Pete? It is. Well, it's a good bit of kit, though. It'll just get your muscles heavy. <laughs> like a workout, Greasy. Oh, Got a torch in the middle, though. How powerful is the torch, Pete? Go on, shine it on that cam. Is it on the torch? Why are you in the dark? Well, if right, I have to ever get called out on a breakdown to grease one up at three in the morning, I'll be ready. Yeah, you'll be alright, won't <laughs> you? Yeah, it's a good bit of kit, though, Pete, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. Hey, it's better than fucking doing it manually, that is a fact. Bloke, oh, okay. sir. It won't bled up before, though. We're amateurs, aren't we? Ungutted, we don't know what we're man. doing. I'm gutted. Yeah, you, you liked it. Shoot it, yeah. Between the eyes, I was expecting. Yeah, well, launched it across oh, the other side of the workshop. You can you can fire at people from about twenty foot with the air one and, and, and get them. <laughs> Can't you? <laughs> well, I best get on. Now she's all greased up. Just good. Chain move this this cable. Oh, 
That's had a good hit, hasn't it? I'll just go and warm that up with the bottles and then get a good whack down with my old sledgehammer. Bloody wind. Bring it on, mate. That's <laughs> that's to that, isn't it? Yeah. Thick, isn't it? I'll do it, one. Good job I'm not perfectionist. Freckle out with a grinder, pull a bit of black spray on it, she'll be like brand new, won't she? Well, not really, but it'll be like a 1988 trailer, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look, boys. Brand new flappy disc. I love a brand new flappy disc. You can't beat it. You wait till you see this after I polish it with this. Beautiful. All right, probably not a new pin, but it's nice anyway. Put a bit of squirty on it. What bent bed? What are you on about? Nah, it's not bent. Brand new. She's like brand new, boys. She's like brand new. Boys, update on the Makita uh, grease gun, look. Pete's just remembered that this come out the pack. A strap on. A strap on. <laughs> it seems like he needs a backpack for it, so obviously that's what there that's for. There They've realised how heavy this grease gun is and thought, hang on, we best supply a strap for it. That strap's not very big, though. Where you meant to put that? Is that full it... Oh, no, yeah, adjust it. Adjust it. It's it must clip on. Place. Where is it, Scott? Over there. Over here. Yeah, we Look go. at that. Here we go. Archie, you're back on greasing. You've got a strap. There we are. Back strap. It's a proton pack. There we go. Look at that. Professionals now. Nah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Go Don't trust it out there. <laughs> See? Weight carried now. Nah. There's no weight. Is, is it nice and comfy now, Pete? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. They made it better now. Nah. Well done, Makita. The weight don't matter anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Makita, if you're out there, uh, me and Pete want to try, like, test your tools out if you want to send us any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send us some of your tools, Makita. Come on. I've always had you, Makita. That's it, mate. Be faithful, be loyal. Yeah, I've had a million views, Makita, you know, on my channel. Oh, I know, look, here, look, Pete's a Makita man, look. Well, that, yeah. That's a good bit of kit. Oh, for, yeah, that's a big one, isn't it, look, yeah. Trouble is, it's just so bloody big, isn't it? It's top heavy. I can't believe you don't use that one much. Get out and then I'll use it. It's one of the I, I use it all the time. We've got a torch there, look. I like it. See, Makita. Come on, Makita. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> Come on, Makita. Jesus Christ. I'm bigging you up here. That grease gun's lovely. <laughs> that grease gun you made is ever so light. It's <laughs> lovely bit of kit. Let's get coupled up to this trailer, guys, shall we? Let's check the lights. It's got a few uh, bulbs missing that on this trailer, and a few lamp lenses, but I ain't got the lamp lenses yet. I'm waiting for them. So we'll get coupled up to it, check for air leaks, and give it the once over. ABS socket on this, it has got skid check on it though, that's the green light at the front. When you switch ignition up, I'll do a thing eh? That's the skid check light. Right, to check skid check, switch the engine off. Then you need to put your foot on the brake, switch ignition on and then you need to look at that lamp at the front of the trailer there the lamp needs to come on and then it needs to go out after a few seconds and then come back on again and that's done the check and it's all right if the lamp just comes on and stays on there's a fault with it or if the lamp don't come on at all there's a fault with it but i'm going to prop this camera up here and i'll shout you ignition off foot brake on ignition off 
Did it come on and go out? I don't know. I'll have to look back at my recording because I can't see it where I'm sat. I've just seen what you saw. That worked perfectly. What a lovely little skid check light. Let's carry on with the other rest of it. Oh. Lenses and bulbs missing in both of them. Yeah, and on these old ones, lads, watch out for what bulb holder it has in it. Because some of these bulb holders on these old ones have a double filament bulb in them, look. Look inside this one, look. Double filament, look. Two pins. So don't put a single pin one in a double pin one. Yeah, okay, mate, yeah. Thank you. I'll go it in a minute. And then look at this one, look. That's a single pin one. That's a single pin bulb there. 24 volt, obviously. And that's a double pin one there. So the double pin one needs to go in the double pin holder. <laughs> You've guessed it, fellas. Look at that. It still don't work, though. Oh. P, can you just put the side lights on? No wonder it don't work. The side lights aren't even on. Oh, it's wonderful. Now it works. It didn't work before, Peter. Does this one work? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know where the lenses are. I don't know whether they come or not. I really don't, Peter. I don't know what's happened. Oh, we've got a light out here. Bit of damp in there, I see. Bulb's gone. Uh, I think I think Roy's ordered them. Is it any old bulb that you take out like this? This is what you do with them. Oh, shit on it. See, that was a good launch, that was. That's what happens with old bulbs. Look at that. And then there was light. Ah, I just need to get one of them fault lifts. That's scooting around there to straighten that butt up, look. Look. You see that? That's bent. And then this trailer can be food barred off. I'm just going to check for air leaks on the brake. So I'm going to jam the brake pedal down, check for air leaks. Let's fucking get on with it. See that? That's jammed. Look. Notice anything? I do. There's a stoplight out here. Another bulb blown up. It's got a few bulbs blown on this one, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, got him smack in the eye with it. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh -huh. <laughs> so satisfying, isn't it? Hey, look at that now. That's bloody wonderful, isn't it? It's a bloody good job, that is. Well done, Chris. Well, I'm going to take this out now. Ah, there's a fork lift there. I'll have to collar that, man. With that little fork lift. What's that? Trailer fell off. <laughs> I'm going to have a head-on collision with Peter. Oh, Peter! Peter's going one way, I'm going the other. Come along then, Peter. Hurry up, Murray. Bloody Peter. He's a bloody nuisance with them ridges. Go, go! Go! Not listening to, he's ignoring me, I think. Right, let's go and straighten this back number up. Go on, a bit more. There it is. You'll be all right. Go on, just, just rev it a bit more. Go on. If you break it, you for it. It is, it's straightening it a bit. That was a lovely bit of straightening by the knots, lad. Wasn't it? That was a good backer up or a Chris. I'm nearly a good backer up or is that bloody Peter? I'm bloody on par with that Peter I am.
I'll be giving him a run for his money, that Peter. If he's not careful, I'll be the main backer upper of this place. <laughs> Come on, fucking let's go. I've got a sump gasket to change on this scar on you. It's a rigid. What is it? P230. Rigid Scania. It's pissing oil out the front of the sump, but I think it's the front crank seal. But we've got a sump gasket, so what I'm going to do is drop the oil, change the sump gasket, change the filters, change the engine oil, wipe it all off, and then we can monitor it, can't we? And then we can know for sure if it's coming out of the front crank seal which I'm pretty sure it is, but still, we need to be sure about it. So that's my job, because it needs a service anyway. So we may as well do that, aren't we? Because this needs to be back on the road tomorrow, and I ain't got time to go from the current sale. That way we can monitor it, can't we? When we use power tools, we only use battery-operated Makita. With lights. With really <laughs> bright lights. <laughs> Easy to bleed system. <laughs> The old barrel swap. It's very messy, this can be. Getting full. The swap over. Turn the side. Look. I told you it was an intense time. Right, we're on the offside of the engine lock. There's the engine oil filter there. There's the engine oil spinner. You need to take that 12 mil nut off the top and then uh, clean the insides out of the oil spinner. I shall show you when I do it. I'm gonna take the sump off now. Right, I'm gonna put this bump back in so I don't get covered in oil dripping. Cause that's gonna be dripping forever. Right, that's it. I've took out all the 12 mil bolts. There's loads of 12 mil bolts all the way around it. I've left two loose, one there, one there. So I'm gonna bring the sump down now to rest on them two loose bolts so I'm not straining myself and it falling off on my head. Hmm. Ah. Right, now I'm gonna remove these two. Right, boys. The other, the other month I had one tech out, same problem, it was up against cross member Pete here. Yeah. Yeah, so I took the cross member out, yeah? Right. So obviously to go to that. And the lads on the comments said, Chris, all you had to do was jack the chassis up and the distance between the axle and the oh, engine is enough to tip it. Great, uh, yeah, enough to tip it. Oh, Easy right. way out. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take them fucking things out there because that's only a cover, innit? Yeah. But I thought that when I read the comments, I thought, well, fuck me, why didn't I think of that? Just shoes, though, doesn't it? School day, mate. Every day is school day. Every day is school day. Right, let's see if it comes off now with that little extra room. How come the hard to get gaskets, the one that stays on, the engine bit, is the hard to get bits right at the ends? It's never the easy to get bits. Oh no, they, they don't. It's the odd get bit. Right, I'm going to take you off this sump now. Come join me. Hi, my name's Chris, and when I want to dispose of my oily rags, I use Peter's Makita box. Only at Peter's Makita's. See? Another advert for Makita again. Come get your merch at Peter's Makita's. That Peter does like his Makita's. Which is all right in my book. I 
just thought, and they're struggling away with that brake cleaner, pissing around with all the outside. They've got a steam cleaner here. I'm just going to rinse it all off in a matter of minutes. I do make hard work for myself, I do. I know it's a new gasket, but it is only a gasket. I don't really like them that much. They haven't got much compression look on them. I do like to still put a bit of silicon down on this side, and then I'll put the gasket down, then I'll put it on top of the gasket, just to give it a nice bed to sit down on, on the engine. Plus it's handy, like, you have to put a bit down to hold it down, obviously, or else you'd be forever faffing around it, be falling off. Just put a bit of silicon down, sticks it to it. It don't move then when you're moving it. I like that, that's cushy, that is. Right, change his oil filter. Always check as well, when you take the filter off, you know the thread, what's coming out here? Always check that it's tight. On the old Volvos, they used to come loose. So when you uh, undid the filter, sometimes the thread in there would come loose and hang out. And if you were unaware of it, it might be just hanging on by a few fucking threads. I would take off. Hang on, that's 13 mil. I thought there was 12, the 13. Right, look, we're separating this lot. This is how to clean out one of these oil spinners. That screws off from there, look. Oh, you bastard. Let's get some grips. So just hit that out, look. Hold the frame there. There we go, look. Now that's the ring lock. That one goes around there. Now on these ones, nowadays you've got a paper, uh, it's in the filter box, it's a paper thing that goes around. Back in the day, they never used to have these paper things. You used to have to scrape it out with like a wallpaper scraper I had to scrape all the thick oil out. But then they come up with this idea of putting a, uh, I hope someone's put it in. Yeah, look. They put this in it, look, a cardboard thing. So you just pull the cardboard out, and all the oil look, is stuck to the cardboard. Good idea, isn't it, eh? Saves a lot of faff, you know, that does. We used to be faffing for ages, scraping it out. Get everything ish clean. Them little holes there, look, they're what jet it around, look. So it's always good practice to clean them a bit. Do you see it coming out? Look. See it? And this one. Beautiful. We know they're clear now, don't we? Right. Don't worry about that bit, that's just the top. There's three bits, look. That bit, that bit, and that bit. Right, get that, look. Get your thing out, your service kit, your cardboard, a little do for a dog. It tells you on here, look, what to do, look. The writing's on the outside, the arrow's on the outside. So put this on the outside, like that, look. Put that in. Cardboard on the inner. Slot her in there. She slots in there, lovely. Right, get that, look, put that on it. Oh, like so. And then get your O-rings, there's three different size O-rings. There's small, medium and large. You want the medium, which is that one. Don't worry about the small one, we don't need that one. Put that around there, look, like that. And then put that into there, like that. There, yeah, did you hear that? Beautiful little clip. Now where's my little, where's my nut gone now? Get your nut. Tighten it up. You don't need to, you don't need to grip it up. You can just do it with your hands. As long as it's tight. There, perfect. 
Right, and then your big O-ring goes on there, look. Jobs have got him. Let's put it back on. Yep, you bugger. Yeah, I didn't really explain it very well, but that, that cardboard thing, look, on the inside, this spins around with centrifugal force. It spins around like hell, and all the crap out the oil sticks to the side, sticks to this cardboard thing now, obviously, this new fandangled cardboard design, which is a fucking excellent thing. Uh, and then, look, all the muck, look, and the crap is like a thin layer that sticks to the side of the cardboard. That cardboard's only thin look, but it, it's fat look where the, all the crap's been stuck to it. But I've known these before, oil spinners in the past, to be that chucker that it's filled right the way up to the middle, where you're struggling to even hit the centre out because there was that much shit in it. So they're a good idea and they're a good thing, aren't they? Right, let's get on putting this on. I'll still unplug you. Right, just try not to get loads of shit off there into there because we don't want loads of crap in there, do we? Now look, once you've fitted it, just check it spins, look. Look, spins around like hell, look. Let's fit the top. Uh, now we'll fill the oil filter truck with oil and then we'll fit the oil filter on. And then always put a bit of oil around the seal, around here. Hand tight it up, don't get grips on the throat, silly. Put the cab down, fill it with oil, strike her up. Oh, put the new sump washer on. It's always good practice as well, boys, to uh, put your sump bung in before you start filling it with, uh, with oil. <laughs> I heard Pete laughing there, like the background. Yes, Peter, we've all done it. You're not on your own. Right, I'll fill this up with oil now. Sump bung's in, tight. Say bye, my kids, Peter. Bye. <laughs> Ex-army, lad. <laughs> always has to do that, ex-army. <laughs> we always have to salute. <laughs> Start <a> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to put... Oh, yeah, in here. See you in a bit, boys. Catch you on the next one. Woo-woo. We like to do a woo-woo. I've always got to do a woo-woo, Pete, for me. Avicii, wake me up. I hope that song has woken you up, Carl, because... It has woke me up. Well, I need to get a shit from the shop, Tesco's. Uh, if it weren't for me, this uh, this local Tesco's is shut, I think, because I go there that often. I spend that much money, yeah? <laughs>